Guys, it's Joy Boys. I'm Rob. I'm Brian. And this is the last time we have to introduce you to the concept of a monthly show. Yeah, because this will be a full calendar year of stuff. Exactly. So it's April, Easter, and April Fool's Day, and we're gonna we're gonna mess around with that latter one. This is get played or you got played, either way. And the idea is Rob and I are going into a game that is not a mystery to us, other than why anybody might like them. Yes. Maybe we both hate them. Maybe just one of us does. It's just probably going to be a bad time. As long as it's not the last battle for Sega Genesis. I don't even know that one, so I oh can't boy, be. <laughs> oh boy, we're gonna have to bank that one. Okay. Did you ever want a crappy Fist of the North Star game that's not Fist of the North Star branded? <laughs> not quite. Okay. <laughs> so I uh, I I went ahead and fired up the random number generator machine, pulled a number, went to the list, and groaned. <laughs> Okay. Rob, you get to regale us with the amazing play of Gex. The first Gex? The first Gex. Oh, boy. (laughs) So join us and come get played. Oh, boy. Oh man, that was uh, 30 minutes wasted. Yes. <laughs> hey guys, Retro Arch is great and standalone emulators not so much anymore. Right. <laughs> so, it's Gex. Hooray. Rob, it's a video game, but it's like you're going to be playing in a TV. Oh yeah, I can't wait for all these quips. I thought that said the doom for a second there. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, am I doing it? I don't know. Yeah, that should be you, right? Picking, like, a level. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. The cemetery. Spooky. Let's get back to the mystery van. Oh, I remember this map. Oh, this is going to be all the time, isn't it? (laughs) Oh, yeah. This has, like, Bubsy-style stuff. Find the remote. Okay. Oh, yeah. Tail whip action. Oh, man. This controls like garbage. Does it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's tail time. It's tail time. It's tail time, yeah. Oh, look at that. Breakable. Wait, can't I? I oh, can. Look at that. Can, can you I, like... also fling it at it? Hmm. Yeah. Get the... Yeah. Dragon All right. Flies? Golden mosquitoes. Oh, mosquitoes. Oh, who, who does dragonflies? Is that Spyro? Uh, yeah. I think so. I couldn't tell if that was like a secret. <laughs> How am I supposed to... Like, wait a minute. How? Oh, Hang on. Yeah. It's tail time. Or eat them for special power-ups. Okay. <laughs> Soylent Green is good. Okay. He just I don't said, even understand what the hell he's saying. <laughs> he said Soylent Green is good. Okay. Uh, hold down the run. There's a run button? <laughs> what? It's tail time. Oh, he said that already again. What's the run button? <laughs> oh, oh. Really? It's <laughs> L1? Oh, okay. That's so awkward. <laughs> it's tail time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Like, are you not supposed to be able to run and jump off things? Oh. Oh, you have to jump super early. Okay. Nope, I couldn't do that. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I got too much gex speed. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, you can land on that. I didn't think you could. Yeah, you, can, you can't crawl up it. Heaven forbid. <laughs> Look at you with your advanced stress of jumping over time. the blade. <laughs> oh, he'll say it again soon. What is that? That ladybug. Uh, can I get off the wall? Nope. Okay. 
Ah, uh, so you gotta do some cool skate action. I can't, like, am I supposed to, like... There we go. Something happened. I got some health. Oh, I it think. was health. Okay. Oh, Rob, you can't jump on them. What kind of platformer would you do jumping <laughs> on enemies? Right. Do they move? I'm working without a net here. <laughs> Is it tail time? <laughs> oh, that's the other passageway over there. Remember you broke that floor? No, the floor didn't have anything. Oh. You broke that TV. Uh oh. Yeah, say <laughs> it doesn't seem good. Okay, well, can I not? Huh. Yeah, it seems like. Uh, I don't know how. I'll, you can't. Oh, wait, can you go on the ceiling? That's a good question. This is Gax and it does control like garbage. <laughs> so. Yep. I can. <laughs> Look at that. And for that, we got. Oh, something. Okay. I don't know where we got. I don't. <laughs> Gax is a bad game. Oh, you know what this is the equivalent of, right? It's like those Donkey Kong areas. Oh, the things that were cool stuff and extra lives are supposed to happen? Yep. Uh oh. You gotta use all your skills here. Can I eat it? Get that butterfly. Okay, I ate it. Where's my special powers? Yeah, he made a sound. Oh, you do have an extra life. Because you had three before and now you got four. Okay, where's my. Oh, it's right there again. Nope, those are extra lives. Okay, butterflies are lives. Oh, okay. How would I have ever have known that? <laughs> Holiday snaps, pay record. What? What? <laughs> oh, they're checkpoints. Oh, okay. I would not have guessed that. Ooh. Wow, Rob. <laughs> it's fine. It's Gex. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> you cut up his brain, you bloody baboon! Adrian! <laughs> oh, I didn't expect the fall at the oh, screen okay. animation there. Wow, this is like Howard the Duck, the video game. It's a bad game. <laughs> This, this is... Oh, I got a little tricky spot. Look at that. <laughs> I think when this came up on my Bonanza, all I did was a couple levels of the cemetery and stopped. Yeah, I could see why. <laughs> like, this game sucks on ice, Brian. <laughs> oh, why isn't there a game called Sucks on Ice? That would be a Gex game. <laughs> Oh, there's clearly some glowy things down there. So I remember playing this. Uh, great. <laughs> Rob. Awesome. How could you? <laughs> Why are you telling me about tail bouncing on crap now when I've been doing that for quite some time? Oh, yeah. That's always fun with games. And then you got a Joker bomb in the TV. Oh, all the way at the end of the level, really? <laughs> yeah, when you finally learn that. Well, and, you know, they expect you want to replay the level to do better. Right, to get all of the secrets. <laughs> yes. Oh. What? Wait. I didn't expect that. I don't remember doing that. Why are you doing this to me, game? <laughs> You're Gex. <laughs> Woo, another life. Oh, I thought you missed it. Boop, boop. You know, I was probably supposed to find that remote that was back there also. Oh, yeah. That's the whole point of the level. Oh, <laughs> God. This sucks, man. But, dude, you're, like, climbing on the background. Gex is a bad game. Parallax scrolling. Bad game. <laughs> Where was... Oh, that thing. Didn't look like a remote to me. Are those, like... 
the Mario coins? Yeah, because you had passed the 100 and you got a life. And speaking of which, look at that. Is that the same one that keeps respawning? I was wondering about that. Because you did die, and I thought you had that one before. Okay, let's see here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My funky tunes. See, the problem with Gex is there's lots of Gexes. I can't. I could. You know what? I'm not even. I'm not. I'm not gonna bother with doing whatever that was. The, see, the thing is, like Gex, there was a lot of Gex games. Yeah. Th that's actually why it ended up on my Bonanza list is because there were so many. I thought, oh, these games must be good. People must like them. No, they're bad. Right. <laughs> They're all bad. Like, the concept of Gex is fine. Sure. But it's just Gex is a bad game. <laughs> like, there's no, there's no. All right, what? <laughs> First thing, I don't want to go on the TV. The concept of Gex is fine. Okay, how did I do? I got 500 points in health. Gex threw up at the screen. I see that. Tapping his birthday keg. What? What happened? <laughs> I, I don't know. You had a whole lot of other things, I thought. Oh, uh, so that's how you turn on these other levels. No? Isn't that just where you were? <laughs> what this place needs is color. I can't exit the TV. Got my eyes, I can't see. Okay, so if I eat it. I think I'll clean the house. I'm faster. Okay. I don't eat anything but this. I'm like. Too fast? Stupid. Too <laughs> fast. It's tail time. Like, it's tail time. Oh, good, it wore off. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I can't jump over that. This, this game sucks so hard. Uh, Gex is not a good game. <laughs> Gex is like Bubsy territory. Yeah. So, I have to ask you, Brian. Sure. Uh, mascot platformers. Uh-huh. How many of them have you kind of gotten into? Oh, none. None? Yeah, like the, the closest to anything was Sonic and I didn't even really get too into Sonic. So... Or does Mario count? Because I love Mario. Right. See, like, but that's the thing. Like, I count Mario as, like, the gold okay. standard of platforms. Right. Yeah. Like, give me some examples. Maybe uh, there's something... Arrow the Acrobat. No. Um, Rocket Knight Adventures. Never played it. Uh, let's but, but see. Um. Oh my God! I'm trying to remember their names because they were all bad. <laughs> um, Does Donkey Kong count? <clears throat> yeah, Donkey Kong counts, but I, I think that falls under the like gold standard. You okay, know? sure. Yeah, because I, I enjoy those too. Um, I, like, uh, let's see, Pocky and Rocky. Nope. God, it was just there were like there was a time on the especially the Genesis and the SNES to where you had uh oh god there was a there was a kangaroo wasn't there Ty the Tasmanian something yeah Ty the Tasmanian Devil Bubsy right Bubsy of course stuff like that no never never really got into those. Well, I, I Rocket Knight Adventures is great. Everything else just kind of sucks. <laughs> um, because I remember them being a huge deal back in especially the 16 and 32-bit era. Right. Um, Kelowna, well, I think you count one. for... It's a PS1 game. Counts for one. Hmm. Yeah, I never heard of that one either. I want to see, like... Can you pull up a list of character platformers? Sure. Oops. 
see what I got. Oh, I never silenced my phone. <laughs> All right. This place is weirder than 4th of July at Rick James' place. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why we have to call out Rick James. Gee, school, let's get back to the mystery van. No, you know what? That's not helpful. Let me... I bet you somebody did something on Giant Bomb about that. Because they like to do those. Okay. I have a remote. Maybe it goes through just a specific one. Because I noticed that one on the left has an image underneath it. <laughs> this one? That's the one you were just at. Yeah. Maybe you have to. I don't know. I. Are you done in the cemetery for now? <laughs> Am I? <laughs> nope, it just means we don't know the right button. I got the remote. Yeah. I saw that. Like the slime boys. Nice touch. <laughs> I swear I have the remote. What button did they say to press? I'm walking up to the TVs and hitting. Let's get back to the mystery man. Okay, let me look that up real fast. Got it. Let me look up Gex. I have to use the remote. Oh, okay. Of course you have to use the remote, Rob. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Grave danger. Oh. Okay, you can't ride those. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay, the coffin lids you can. Oh, KO the kangaroo? Yes, KO the kangaroo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's KO time. Let's see. Some people included Zelda. Or, yeah, Zelda on here. I don't know that I would. No, I wouldn't. Wait. Something's wrong with this list. <laughs> oh, this is just mascots. Okay, that's why. Yeah, that's what uh, mascot platformers. Yeah, they it just focused on mascots and not the platformer part. Oh. Well, I mean, that's kind of what we're looking for, is the the different mascots from the platformers. Ty the Tasmanian Tiger was one. KO the Kangaroo. Well, why am I shadow? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Oh, I can blow fire! <laughs> How would I ever know that? <laughs> What did you collect? I didn't even see. Uh, some sort of power up. Oh, good. Ooh, nice moves, actually. I mean, it's tail time. <laughs> Do your arms ever get tired? What? You know that old joke <laughs> about arms being tired, Brian? I guess. You know when your grandpa used to just come up to you and be like, Hey, Bri, <laughs> you know when your arms get tired and you're like, Gosh darn, Grandpa, that's a good one. Oh, you got that camera. Oh, it oh, makes I platforms see. appear. Yep. Hey, don't miss these mosquitoes. We're going to need every single one. I thought they was going to smash you. What happened? <laughs> I don't know if that gave you that life or not. I don't know either. I just jumped on it and my tail went sproing. <laughs> Sweet like candy. I don't really. That's it. That's it. Oh, you have an extra uh, health icon now too. An extra Gex hand? Yeah. Oh, we missed the camera. I guess. Let me see if I can figure out where, where this camera is. It's got to be this one over here, I think. 
Oh, yep. Oh, they time out. Because you did hit that one before, I thought. Okay, so that makes those platforms go away. Oh man. Oh god. Gex is a bad game, Brian. Why are geckos always dead when they go in water? Right? <laughs> sp sp spooky water? Yeah, I guess. Is that like a Mario shell? <laughs> oh, they respawn. Oh, see, now I don't have my You're actually other lame. Gex hand. Yeah. Oh, it does work like that. What you don't get, though, is extra points for that, which is kind of unfortunate. Really? Yeah, I don't think so. I thought you got 500 before as well. I'll see you the next time you break a TV. Oh, no, I'm wrong. You did get double points. <laughs> I don't need anything but this. Like, the quips just don't make any sense. No, they seem like they're just nonsense, like, movie jargon. Yeah. You know, Gex. <laughs> I have one life to live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's tail time. It's tail time. So. If this were a plane crash, I could eat the other passenger. Okay, there's where my four came from. Okay, okay. now I have fire breath. Right. So, is that why I have fire breath? What? It's tail time? Oh, I thought that was the red thing that you had gotten earlier. I think so. I'm just wondering, like, why I actually have fire breath. Sweet, like <laughs> candy. Okay. Yeah, I thought there was a thing there before. Nope. Okay. Oh, you tried to hit it from there? Yep. Oh, well, at least those burn those away. Yep. then how am I supposed to get how am I supposed to get that oh I didn't know you could grab things with your tail well that's kind of weird this would be great for my collection need it need it need it need it yeah see those turn back on see like if I tail whip this that makes all those platforms disappear. Right. <laughs> I, I wasn't even near it. <laughs> Forget it. This is Gax. I'm not I am not going to put that much thought into <laughs> Gax. He says that, but we all saw he was trying. Well, what's up there? Yeah, I don't know how you get up there. Whatever. It's Gex. <laughs> I'm not. It's like you just knew there was a trap there. Right? <laughs> and he would go, do. <laughs> Can I make it? I'll take this and this and this. Sweet like candy. What? What? From what? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. Why did that what? kill you? The coffin killed me. How? Like it always did in every other coffin I jumped on. <laughs> like oh, man. Gex is bad. <laughs> oh, good. I'm back here. Oh, yeah. No checkpoints. So I'm going to have to ask you, what was the crappiest game 
you can think you played on PlayStation. On PlayStation. Because that's where we are right now. Since since you didn't have the dearth of mascot platformers that I did when I grew up with the Genesis. Right. He's dead, Jim. Well, okay, so we should tell people, because I think it is my answer. So, anybody who has been looking through the videos on our channel, if you went to our oldest ones, there was, of course, the intro to the Joy Boy episodes. Uh, but our first monthly was Dust Off. But it wasn't meant to be. We should have already had a Get Played, but we lost... I believe it was all the video we lost of the first Get Played. And the first Get Played was Rob and I playing a game also on PlayStation 1 called Grudge Warriors, which will definitely hit up at some point in the future. Um, which, just for a refresher, Grudge Warriors is something that the both of us had in common that we didn't know. Exactly. And we had it in common in terms of we got Grudge Warriors about the same way. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I would have to say that was the worst, the worst game I ever played where I just... Even when I tried to be like, maybe I'm being too hard on it, let me give it a, a, a better shot or something along those lines, I still felt like I wasn't accomplishing anything. Okay. So I, I think that would, for PS1, I would say that would have to be it. Because, like, you know, I, I score all the games that I saw that coming. <laughs> I can't. <sighs> God. This game. Uh, I lost track of what I was gonna say there. <laughs> so, um, I thought you were talking about like giving Grudge Warriors an actual tr an actual shot. Yeah, because there's some games that I have for the PS1 as well that are definitely weird. I can't call them good games, but I could get enjoyment out of them. Like uh, this one that's coming to my mind is. There is a game called War Games, uh, which is supposed to be based on the universe of the movie War Games. And uh, I believe that's the movie, because I never actually saw it. I think that's the one where the would you like to play a game and a robot voice comes from. Yeah. Okay. And that is a very awkward, non-base building, RTS style game based on that universe that has some clever ideas but felt like it would have been a whole lot better on pc and maybe it was on pc and i just didn't know it at the time but giving that time and a chance i got enjoyment out of it i never did for grudge warriors yeah uh so i guess i'll have to just quickly reiterate that story uh both of us had a parent that knew we liked Twisted Metal. Mm -hmm. And so... I'm not even gonna... And so... Uh, we both received a game in which... Can I go this way? Oh, oh I can. Look at that. Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> like that that doesn't even look like it's worth it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh! Oh, how did you do that? I just put selected away hit tried to hit away from the wall and apparently was able to do that. Okay. That'll help. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so we both had a parent that was like, you know, you have mentioned that you like Twisted Metal. And this was one of those multi meal name brand cereal situations that video <laughs> games used to have. Yeah. Why do I have wind around me? <laughs> Ooh. It's a shield? Okay. Um, like multi meal uh, uh, multi meal general mills serial situations with video games to where you're seeing the resurgence of a lot of this on the app stores specifically yeah 
uh, to where you're going to get like... Okay, I have another hand. Yeah. Why is there have, like a cyber hand spinning next to my Gex hands yeah, at the top? Yeah, I don't know. Now you got... Oh, for a second there you had two of them. Maybe it's a shield? I guess. It's, it's good the game explains all of this. It's Gax, Sorry, man. <laughs> it's, it's Gax. Anyway, uh, so you're, res you're seeing a lot of resurgence of the same type of thing on the app stores now to where it's, you know, you have Clash of Clans. And then, you know, a week later, you're going to have Clan of Clashes. <laughs> yeah, And a week exactly. later, you're going to have Clash Clans. <laughs> <sighs> so, uh, really? There we go. Got it. Nothing happened. I got an extra life. I have 14 Oh, it's an lives. extra life. Yeah. Okay. Um and now and back then you had you had oh, this game was this game did really well and then you would have the you know, bargain basement version of it. Yep. So with having parents that knew we liked twisted metal, it was like a okay, well this isn't got it this isn't twisted metal but it's close and it was one of those like we knew you meant well yeah but this is not even close <laughs> right exactly like grudge warriors i can't get the firefly <laughs> grudge warriors was a, a, an attempt at being twisted metal but as you played it, you were just like, this is nowhere near as fun as Twisted Metal. Right. Because you had um, you had Grudge Warriors. You had, uh, what was that? Vigilante 8? Vigilante 8, yep. Uh, what was the other one? There was one more. Uh, there was one more, and I can't remember what, what it is. Yeah. It's Vigilante 8. Oh, you piece of shit. What happened? I don't know. Something about moving a body. Grudge Warriors, Vigilante 8. Um, did I do well? His head spinning. Oh, I didn't say he didn't throw up this time, but he did. Reminds me of Ed <laughs> tapping his birthday keg. I hate you, Gex. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? We'll do a quick episode break here. <laughs> And then uh, we'll do some more. Okay. See you guys. Great. <laughs>